Hello everyone, so today we are going to solve a question on integration which was asked in this year KVPY question. The question is integration 0 to infinity 1 upon 1 plus x square multiplied by 1 plus x whole square. So for this kind of question there are two methods. The first is you are going to take x as tan theta here. The reason being because 1 plus x square is present. The moment you put x is equal to tan theta it will give you secant square and the differential of tan theta will be secant square. So it will be easy. Second thing is which I prefer is whenever the limit is given from 0 to infinity, always remember students, you are going to take x is equal to 1 by t. This is preferable from my side and I am going to show you why this is easy. So differential will be d of x is minus 1 upon t square dt. Now let's say this is equal to i and let's substitute here x is equal to 1 by t. So we will get i is equal to limit infinity to 0, we will get here and 1 upon we will get this as 1 plus 1 by t square whole multiplied by 1 plus 1 by t whole square and here you will get minus 1 upon t square into dt here. Now let's simplify this and we will, uh, I will consu I'm consuming a negative here so the limits will interchange. So again we will get 0 to infinity that t square from denominator will come the moment I take the LCM and one more t square will appear because of this whole square. We will get this as 1 plus t whole square again and then we have 1 by t square into dt. So here one of the t square will cancel out and we will get this as t square upon 1 plus t square into 1 plus t whole square. So again i I am writing this as since t is a dummy variable I can write this as x there is no problem again. So I am going to write this as x again we will get this as integration 0 to infinity x square upon 1 plus x square whole multiplied by 1 plus x whole square into d of x. There will be no change in the integration. So let's say this is our first integral and this is our second integral. As limit from 0 to infinity I can add 1 and 2. The moment you add 1 and 2 you will get this as 2i is equal to integration 0 to infinity and as you can see the denominator is exactly same. I can write this as 1 plus x square whole divided by 1 plus x square multiplied by 1 plus x whole square into d of x. Now here 1 plus x square 1 plus x square will cancel out and as you can see what is remaining 1 upon 1 plus x whole square. Its integration is minus 1 upon 1 plus x and then lower limit is 0 upper limit is infinity. Now from here we got 2i is equal to if you put infinity you will get 0. If you put 0 here you will get minus or minus 1 that is plus 1. So from here i will be equal to half. That's our final answer and that will be all.